Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your marriage is in trouble when, and here is part five, you don't have time for each other. Every single day, it's work, it's school, responsibilities, chores, things to do. There's just no time for you, the husband, and you, the wife, to have alone, to spend time with each other, to go out and just be alone and sort of reignite the romance in your marriage, to reignite that relationship and that mawadda and rahma that you've always felt for each other. And personally, I mean, I can understand that in this day and age, there's so many responsibilities that it just naturally takes away from that alone time that all of us desperately need with our spouse. So listen to what the Prophet ﷺ once told a companion, Salman al-Farisi radiallahu an, And he tells them, فَأَعْطِي كُلَّ ذِي حَقٍ حَقًّا Give everything their due and rightful right, their haqq. So really this is the formula that you use in your entire life regardless of how busy you are. Give whatever has a haqq, give it its right. So your wife has a right from you at some time during the day that once you're done all of your responsibilities, now it's just alone time for you and her. The kids are asleep or they're busy with homework or they're not at home. This is your time with her. Don't use that time and say to yourself, well, I finally have two hours for free. I'm gonna go play b basketball. I'm gonna go play soccer. I'm gonna go hang out with my buddies. I'm gonna go to the masjid and stay there for five hours. Remember, you are rewarded. The Prophet ﷺ once told us, Hatta luqma, even if you give a morsel of food to your wife, this is an act of sadaqah, it's an act of charity. So when you spend time with one another, when you look out for each other, or you're simply sitting down and just having a conversation about nothing, all of this is sadaqah when you have the intention to please Allah and fulfill each other's rights. So the point, brothers and sisters, is you have to make time for each other. Time is, is our greatest asset and at the same time, it's the greatest loss that we suffer. So it's important that within 24 hours of your day, you have to mentally schedule that later on in the afternoon or later on in the evening, this is going to be my family time. And you can ask any psychologist, any therapist, anyone who specializes in these fields, they will tell you that every single couple needs alone time. It's healthy for the relationship and more so it's healthy to keep that love, that mawadda and that rahma that we desperately need in order for the marriage to flourish. Keep in mind that the sunnah of our Prophet ﷺ is that after Isha, he would be home. He would either go to sleep or he would be at home with the family. So you can mentally schedule in your mind that once you come home from work and you relax, you spend time with the family, especially after Isha. So this is especially important for the brothers who are listening to this. When you go to the masjid and you pray Isha, when it's done, go home. Be with your family. Don't sit back and, and linger around the masjid for four or five hours after Isha and you reach home at midnight. And even if the wife asks you, you know, where have you been? I was waiting for you. I was hoping we could have dinner together. This is her right. And even for the sisters, put aside all of your responsibilities and your chores for a moment. When you see your husband is home, Take that opportunity to be with him and spend time with one another. You will enjoy it and your marriage will, be, will flour, flourish. It will be filled with barakah bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. So the key advice that I have for you in this message, in this topic, is give everything its haqq, give everything its right. And you have to make a strong intention and a strong uh, responsibility inside of you that you give this its time and you give this its haqq and insha'Allah ta'ala you will enjoy the relationship with one another. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So sometimes you have to say no to some appointments. Sometimes you... <clears throat>
I was gonna finish it up. It's okay, we'll just record this one. Re-record it. The whole thing?